Hello. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to share this One Tigress insulated poncho slash sleeping bag. So I seen this on the OneTigress.com website and I thought that's something I've got to try. And if it's what I think it is, I had to share it. Well, it's a very versatile piece of gear and it's definitely worth a share. Now this here is a poncho but it's also a sleeping bag can be used as a blanket and also an under quilt now the rating is right around 15 celsius to 20 celsius so it's almost like having a sweater it's not for extreme cold and such but it's another layer and it's also windproof which if you're blocking the wind can help tremendously. So this here, it's minus eight right now without the wind chill. Wind chill is very cold out here actually, but this helps trap my body heat and also blocks the wind. Now the outer shell is the shell that they use in a lot of their sleeping bags. It's a 210T Dacron shell. The lining of this is a 210 Pongy lining and the fill is a SEE polyester. Now it doesn't have a lot of insulation to it as in fill but it's still about a quarter of an inch thick so it's definitely keeping me warm out here. I have a jacket on as well but this here helps with the uh, wind chill and I'm very comfortable. Also, I move back a little bit. Right here, you have a huge pocket and it's insulated as well. So you can put your hands in there, keep them nice and warm and so on. But now how this works is you can see it's pretty, pretty long. It covers rather well. Now this is as far as I can bring my hands out right now because it has a clip in the back that allows this to be made into a poncho. But if I want to use my arms, all I got to do is lift this up some. Now I can use my arms. I like that this actually covers quite a bit compared to a lot of other ponchos. So I'm liking it thus far. I'm going to show you what it looks like if it's not in a poncho form. Now how you do that is this clip right here. I'll bring that up. You just wrap this clip around behind you and clip it. Now with the hood you can see that you can cinch this right up. block more wind but now I'm going to just take this off and uh, show you I'll tell you now I've got a big head and it fits through here but if you're get a really big head a lot of brains which is a good thing <laughs> then it may be tight going through this hole so it fits me rather well and like I said I've got this uh, very thin jacket on. I've got a pair of overall winter uh, snow pants and then I just have a sweater and a t-shirt under that. So I'm not overly dressed out here for these temperatures for sure. This here like I said is just added protection and it also traps that body heat that's trying to escape. So how this works if you're going to use this as a sleeping bag first off is you can tuck this in there's a velcro right here and you're going to take the hood and you're going to kind of just tuck that inside that hole and then there's one velcro right here on the hood that attaches to 
the Velcro here. Now you can also cinch that up, the hood, but that's what it's going to look like when you have it into a sleeping bag style. Now this has YKK zippers on it as well. And as you see, they're the style that is double pull. You can pull from the inside or the out. And now all I have to do is find the other end. Let's see which, which end it is. As you see, that would be the end that I put in. to this. I'm trying to keep this up out of the snow. <laughs> so this here, what I'm going to do is just push this in and start zipping down. Make sure it's all locked in there right. Nope. I'm pulling on the wrong zipper. <laughs> get it started here. Oh, there we go. Hands are a little cold right now, so that's the problem. When you get it in there right, it zips up no problem. Now, I'm going to zip this down, and what I have noticed on zipping it is you do have to watch these little tabs here. This is for running a ridge line through, or a, actually a bungee style ridge line so you can use it as an under quilt for a hammock but you just take care when you're unzipping it the snow comes off rather easily now you look up here that would be your top or your bottom it doesn't matter but this is where your zipper is up here and you just pull down so that's going to be my top the bottom has this big hole well it has a shot cord here that allows you to zip or snug this right up and close this off and like i said it's six foot eight so it's made for tall people as well now, if you have this closed off, this would be great, I think, for a day pack and such in the summertime to throw in your vehicle for the colder months as well. If you get, you know, stuck on the side of the road or something like that there, this can add a little bit of protection from the cold. But I'll move up here again and... You can see how big this is. But that there is what it looks like as a sleeping bag. Here's the interior here as well. And of course, the stitching, the quality's top notch. And as you see, you have these tags here for like I said for using as a under quilt. You can also cinch it up around your bottom of your hammock. So very very versatile piece of gear and I thought it was definitely worth a share just because it's unique to me for sure and just thought it may be something that someone else may be able to use especially in a warmer climate and such I think it's uh, about the same thing as a adding a sweater, but it compresses down to a very small package. I'll leave the link where you can check out the dimensions after it's compressed, and so you can see a little bit more of the um, features it has. But great piece of kit, and I think it's pretty neat that <laughs> you have a sleeping bag, a poncho. It's not for rain 
It's for basically for warmth and to cut that wind. Getting up first thing in the morning. I mean, I've seen me a little chilly and would have loved to uh, be able to wear my sleeping bag. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. I got a watch right there on those, um, just on those spots because sometimes it does want to snag. I'll see which side comes off here. Or did I do the wrong side? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sometimes you have to watch that. I actually unzipped it the wrong way. So, I have to go the other way. <laughs> Knowing which is the uh, bottom and the top, just by, it's not gonna come off on this end, that's where it stops. It's the other end that you have to unhook it from. So, we're gonna do that. Guess I should have paid more attention, I got talking. <laughs> so, there, now I've got it to there, and now this just comes out. It has that end there. This here, it's just as simple as move back up here. Throw that there. Grab this. Grab the other one. Wrap it around me. There you go. That's your poncho. So I just thought it was a very cool, uh, you know, piece of gear to share. I want to thank you for watching. Take care. All the best.